Hey guys, welcome to Actual Lol. Today I'm doing an unscripted vlog about the games that are staying in my collection. Games that I've had for a, a couple of months maybe, played them a bit, and now I've decided I'm definitely keeping them. These are games for me. Um, if you are used to the scripted videos on this channel with the jokes and the wigs and stuff, don't worry, those will always be the focus of this channel. I will always title these unscripted videos vlogs, so feel free to give them a miss if you're not interested. The first game staying in my collection this month is Unusual Suspects, designed by Paolo Mori. This is a party game where there is a grid of character cards in the centre of the table. One person knows who the guilty person is, and they have to answer yes or no questions. Things like, does this person look after their garden? Does this person own a motorbike? And based on the answers they give to that simple yes or no question, the other players have to eliminate a character each round, ideally more than one and until they get to the final person and guess them right. So it's just a really interesting game where everyone is making judgments based on these players' faces. It's kind of, uh, if you get too deep into it, you could really kind of question that, but I think it's just a fun, silly party game. It really worked um, with the people I played it with. It's very easy to learn, the rules are super simple, and it just gets people at the table talking, it gets people laughing. Uh, you start to create personalities for these faces and they're all just cartoon characters. I really enjoyed this game and uh, it's definitely going to stay in my collection for a long time because it's a party game that works with big groups and it's super simple to teach and I love games like that. The second game staying in my collection this month is Vault Wars designed by John Gilmore. Imagine the TV show Storage Wars where people are bidding on storage lots and they don't always know what they're going to get at the end of it. This game is a bit like that. You each have, um, you will host auctions throughout the game and you will know what cards are in the auction but the other players might only see one or two of those cards. This game has a fantasy theme so um, at the start of the game you have objectives so you might be trying to collect um, gems or weapons or armour, things like that and so you're trying to win lots to get the cards that you need, but you won't always know what's in a lot. There, there's a brilliant kind of bluffing element to it, where the person leading the auction could set the opening bid really high to get people to bid quite a lot, knowing that there's nothing but junk, literally junk cards in the, in the auction. Um, it's just a, a really interesting game. Um, it's a brilliantly kind of small card game, comes in this amazing box with a magnetic lid, it fits sleeve cards. I wish more games would come in boxes like this. It's quite deep, um, I would say it's not really a gateway game, there's a lot going on here and um, it might take you a while to kind of get used to it, but at the same time it's, it's really interesting and I can imagine playing this a whole bunch of times and bringing it out for three, four or five players. So. This is a game that is kind of a no-brainer for me, it takes up no space on the shelf, and it's an interesting game. I have to keep it in my collection. The third game staying in my collection this month is Burgle Brothers, designed by Tim Fowers. This is a cooperative bank heist game. Um, in the game there are three floors which are made up of randomised tiles which are face down, so you don't know how the buildings are set up. All you do know is that there's a safe on each floor that you have to crack to get the loot and then escape from the building. But you've also got to stay away from the guards, which move at the end of everyone's turn. Uh, the guards are chasing you, and if they get you, then you lose effectively a life. Everyone's got so many lives, and if you um, lose those lives, you lose the game. Um, the game is just has so much thematic flavour. If you can move onto certain tiles and they set off alarms, which makes the guards move even faster and, and towards you. Uh, you can get tools that help you uh, complete the bank heist. Um, easier, like an EMP to uh, disable alarms or a bomb that can blow up a hole in the floor, things like that. Um, the loot even is thematic. You can uh, get a Persian cat out of one of the safes and uh, that runs away from you, so you have to go and pick it up before you can escape and win the game. I love that it comes in such a tiny box. This is like a complete cooperative game, just as big as Pandemic or Flashpoint, but it just comes in this awesome box. And I love that the box also represents the building that you're heisting with the helipad that you have to escape from at the end of the game. This is easily already in my top five cooperative games, possibly higher. I can see this game staying in my collection for many years to come. 
That is Burgle Brothers by Tim Fowers. So those are the games staying in my collection this month. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Actual Old on Facebook and Twitter. My website's actualol.com. I've been John Perkis. Thanks for watching.